Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. Uh, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. Uh, this can either be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. Sometimes the energy is flipped. So a lot of times in the comments, you'll see like, oh, this is my situation except reverse. Or it's the opposite. And that makes sense because it's really just depending on whatever energy I'm picking up. Or whoever's watching, you know, these readings and so forth, okay? Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I don't know if I already said that. Uh, but if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please comment. I love reading your guys' comments and interacting with you guys and kind of building that rapport. It also helps me pick up on your guys' energy because now we've, you know, communicated, right? Um, and with that being said, let's go ahead and, uh, get into your guys' reading. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Okay. Who is Cancer's person of interest or love or partner? Who is Cancer personally interested in romantically? Who is Cancer interested in romantically? Two of Wands, possibly an Aries, um, or somebody that, you know, you're at a distance from. Uh, Cancer, kind of interesting, but you did you you guys were all in Aries reading. Um, how does uh, Cancer feel about this person romantically? Four of Swords. You're like, nah, I'm not talking to that ass. Maybe they have a Libra moon or uh, they are Libra as well or they have a uh, heavy Libra in their chart or you do. Uh, what is the current situation or issue between Cancer and their person of interest? Okay, Six of Cups, a reunion, children, family, Scorpio, <laughs> Venus maybe, Scorpio Sun, something. Um, okay, uh, what is an external influence or what's blocking? What does Cancer feel like is blocking these two from moving forward romantically? Two of Pentacles. Okay, that's a Capricorn. That's Capricorn energy, I should say decision juggling maybe more than two people um what is the best potential outcome for love and romance this week for cancer best potential outcome of love and romance four of pentacles definitely capricorn energy as well so how i feel like is this here's the emperor so what did i say aries is coming in strongly and the queen of cups there you are right and kind of interesting too but the queen of cups is also um well that's cancer right there right i feel like you know for you guys honestly and truly i think that you have very high emotions for this person i think that this person is somebody that you look at as the perfect match or like a father figure or somebody that you definitely want to settle down with Somebody that has a level of power, maybe they hold a high position, maybe they're in politics, or maybe they, you know, are a judge, or maybe like they're in the limelight, they have to make decisions, possibly a CEO, um, a business person, like, you look at this person as multifaceted, definitely, I think that um, the issue is, you know, maybe they made a decision and it hurt your feelings, or, you know, there was a level of being stubborn here. Some, something happened, right? That's my personal opinion. Um, and it definitely could have just been a personality clash between the two of you. Now, how you feel about this person uh, romantically is, a, or, or this person is a two of wands. More information on this, like I already said, Aries, possibly a Leo. You think that this person, I think sometimes has a hard time repressing their ego, I think, at times. I think that this person, you know, likes to play with matters of the heart or that you feel like they're very strong. But the moon is here, possible uh, Cancer or Pisces. I think that this person is very secretive. They're very quiet about what they're doing. I think that there's a level of illusion here. Maybe you think that you're viewing them as the emperor, but they're really not the emperor. Maybe they're the four of pentacles. I like to call that the knockoff emperor. It's like the one that's pretending to have everything, but really doesn't. 
it's all for show. Because there's something that's not, something that you don't see. It's something, it, it's like a projection of what they want to be, but you don't know something, there, there's something that's definitely missing here. That's, that's what I feel. And I feel like for you, there is a level of secrecy, but I think that they protect themselves. It's like, like, I don't necessarily know if they are trying to do this, but they definitely are not openly sharing with you. They're definitely hidden or they're hiding or you're not talking to them. You're at a distance. There's something here. Why? Why? Ace of Wands. Okay, like maybe they're hiding their intentions. Maybe they're hiding exactly what they want from you. Like this person is hiding something. And I think that you sense that. Also too, I feel like you and this person are definitely um, emotionally connected. I think that you and this person um, can communicate in a different type of manner. Whether it's subconsciously, you know, I feel like you think something, they're thinking it. I feel like a lot of times during the day, you're getting downloads of information pertaining to this person because they're thinking about you as well. But this person has to make a decision and they haven't pulled the trigger on it. That's what I get. And they're very defensive. I feel like there's a level of defense here with this person. They feel the need to protect themselves from you for some reason. One more card, please. Okay, the devil, you could be sexually attracted to this person. Uh, also, too, there could be a level of, you know, betrayal here, or this can definitely be the fact that you guys are connected with one another, right? You guys are drawn to each other sexually, physically, solely. What's the energy of the devil? Okay, the world card, possibly a Capricorn. There's a level of gratification here. This person, I think you feel like completes you. It can be Taurus, uh, Leo, uh, Aquarius, or Scorpio, but this is definitely a Capricorn card. I think you want this person. I think I think that you want to have a family with this person. I just think that there's something that's that's there's a um there's a cycle. Like this is what you guys do. Two of Wands. It's almost like you know when you guys are together, everything is great. But then when you guys leave each other, it's a hot ass mess. <laughs> it's like you know, you guys are intertwined, you guys become one, and then the moment that you're not in front of each other, all of a sudden, this block goes back up. Why is the Four of Swords here for how Cancer feels about this person? I feel like you're not talking to them. You possibly could have ended things with them because you do have the World card here. Maybe you felt like you had to teach them a lesson, okay? Because the world is all about a lesson or a conclusion. Um... What was taught? What did you learn? You know, you know, this is happening because of this, right? Every action has a reaction. Um, Ace of Wands. Every action has a reaction. Think about that. It's almost like, because right now, you guys are not speaking, I think, because of the Four of Swords. Like, I don't think that you're necessarily in a place where you know what to do. I think that I think that you're stuck. It's like you're you're not you're not sure how you feel about this person, but you know you don't want to leave them because there's a potential that things could change, right? Maybe you get this offer of this Ace of Wands. Because how does how does uh, Cancer feel about or what is Cancer's uh, what does Cancer like about this person? Their their person of interest. Think you're highly attracted to them what's cancer like about this person somebody you're watching it's like maybe you've been watching this person for a period of time or you like the fact that they're watching you five of wands um what's cancer like about this person it's kind of weird that's kind of a weird energy what's cancer like about this person 
her eight of cups. I think what you like, honestly, Cancer, this is going to sound hella fucked up. When you push them away, they come back. It's like if you block them, for instance, um, if you block them on Instagram and or in your phone, all of a sudden they're sending you an email from a different email. And they're just like, hey, hi, it's me again. Yeah, uh, just so you know, like I'm not stalking you. However, just don't block me again. Okay, just, just, just don't block me. Like, please, I won't bother you. Whatever. It's like they continue to go after you. Which is forcing, you know, every time that they do this, it's like, fuck, God damn it! now here we are having sex again. You know what I mean? Like, there's a level of success here that this person does, and I think that you really like that about them. It's fucking twisted as it is. It's like you block them to see if they're going to show action. But it's cancer I'm not like about this person. The Three of Cups. You may feel like they're being a hoe, or they're out here doing something with somebody else. Definitely a cancer energy um that they're a fool that they're kind of just out here roaming that they're not giving you anything solid because maybe they're giving it to everybody else like you don't like that like for you stability is important and i think that the fact that this person is so cool just to fucking pop up and dip it's like wait a minute you know get your ass back here bring that knapsack and sit your ass down right so your situation is a six of cups. Why is this here for the situation? What's causing the six of cups for cancer and this person? The six of pentacles. Okay. So I think that there's a level of memory here. It's remembering the good times with this person. I also think that this person, it's like, you know, maybe there's some type of reunion that's happening. Okay. Peace or harmony. Somebody's giving back. What's causing... princess of wands there's a new beginning that's starting either with a uh something from the past that's obviously coming back around either with a capricorn uh taurus or virgo or also with a fire sign aries sag or leo this person is actually you know <sighs> I feel like they're there's they're uh they're a little bit cautious, but it's like they're they're really trying to think out exactly what to what to give. How does Cancer feel about this situation? Four of Swords. I think that for you, it's like again, right? How you feel about the person, four of swords. I think that you're a little bit withdrawn. It's like you're tired of this makeup to break up type of shit. You know, I think that for you, it's like this is giving you, you know, fucking with your head on a consistent basis. I do get that strongly. I think, too, that you feel like there's a lack of affection. And you know that if this continues, like whatever is happening here, that you're going to have to move on. Because you can't continue to keep yourself in this negative headspace with this person. One more thing for the situation of the issue with these two. Cancer and their person of interest romantically. Ten of Cups. You know what the issue is? Is you guys really do care about each other. I think that you guys are really in love with one another. Could possibly, you know, be with the Pisces too. Or that's very like um, a dreamy type of energy. You also feel like there is some type of conclusion. There's something that's transforming. And I don't think that you're ready to move on from this person, even if you do have another offer somewhere else. Because they genuinely bring you that happiness and that emotional fulfillment, which is different than I think that you've had before. So what the issue is or what's causing the issue or the external influence or the block here for you guys moving forward is the two of pentacles. Why, why is this? What's causing this? The seven of pentacles. It's just something is stalled here. Something has to be reworked. It's like waiting for something to happen, either waiting for some money to come in, possibly Taurus, ten of swords. You know, what's causing this ten of swords? Whoa. Temperance. 
as well as the Fool. I mean, I think for you, honestly, what's causing it, let's all be honest here. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to pick it up so I can really express exactly what the fuck I'm thinking. Okay. This person isn't making a clear choice, right? They're suspended in a body of water, possibly a Capricorn, okay? Because you have the uh, two of pentacles as Capricorn. Uh, this person doesn't know what is the right thing to do. They don't know what the best thing to do is. So because of that, they continue to kind of go back and forth with this idea, which is causing a level of uh, being stuck, a level of uncertainty. This is, this is causing them to look unreliable, which is creating a ton of swords because now you're in your head, you're thinking, you're fixating on, you know, why is this happening? Why did this happen? Why isn't there forward movement? What could have been done differently? You're seeking information on how to fix this, right? And why this happened? Because, you know, somebody didn't take that leap of faith and they stayed stuck. Temperance. They didn't move fast enough. They wanted to sit there and like mill over everything. It's just like, you know, do something. Seven of Pentacles. You, the, you or this person, honestly, uh, Cancer, were tired of waiting. You were tired of the same thing over and over and over again. Tired of not having, you know, this person close to you, okay? Maybe not being a family with this person because you have the Knight of Swords here. It's like Nine of Swords, I should say. You know, it's, it, it's just, I think for you, honestly, it was just driving you crazy. It's just like there's a level of remorse here because it's just like things aren't working, but you're extremely tired. Tired of waiting. And a level of distance maybe you needed and maybe that's why you blocked them or they blocked you was so that you could really center yourself and, and um, Also, too, it's letting that mystery die. It's letting the uncertainty of this moon go away. It's like, you know what? I'm no longer going to worry about what's being hidden from me because guess what? Now I'm going to go hidden. And I feel like that's how you feel. And for you, it's like it, it, it has to end, right? It's a paradox. It has to end in order for things, something new to begin. You had to end it because it was just too much for you. It was too much of the unknown. It was fucking with your mental space and it had to go. So, Cancer, your outcome is the Four of Pentacles, okay? Um, this Four of Pentacles, this dude is walking in, so maybe it's your boo coming through with an offer for you. Uh, maybe this is still that stuck energy, but maybe this is something that you've manifested that's going to ground, you know, your guys' relationship or new beginning or something that's opening up, right? Maybe something that's very solid between the two of you guys. Um, I mean, it could be a multitude of things. Uh, for those of you uh, Cancers and Cross Watchers, that this has brought enough clarity. I love you guys. And thank you so much for all of your support and kind words. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.